Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Cat Simulator and we are here with Little Thimbleweed in Wind Clan and I have to say it is really fun to come back to Wind Clan and just see it beautiful and bright and new leaf and see Thimbleweed and his easygoing nature after the deep drama of what has been going on in Apple Clan and it has been so intense in Apple Clan lately. I am so worried about Apple Star's fate and especially the way that his heart is just getting darker and harder and hopefully the same thing will not happen to our precious little thimbleweed who is just the most adorable goofball with some pretty interesting twist that I have planned for him should he survive long enough that I really really want to see come true. So today we are actually going to have thimbleweed work on trying to collect up a little bit more prey and as you can tell he is much better at collecting up tons and tons of feathers than he is at collecting up prey but he has been asked by Proudstar to go out and try to bring back at least something big and heavy primarily a rabbit so we need to bring back at least one rabbit and we need to hopefully be able to not get him in trouble not get him kidnapped by a two leg hit by a car or in trouble with a dog it's just there's so many there's so many things <gasps> the bunny all right let's see if we can get it and ah dang it we probably should have gotten a little bit closer there's just so many things that can happen to a young awkward cat like this and i love how many of you guys are totally in love with thimbleweed i think you'll really enjoy him and his story especially Let's see, can we get the bird? Oh, the bird ran off, darn it. Especially as we just spend more time with him. Oh, why? Why? Why is this precious, precious child one of the most unlucky cats we've ever had? I swear, this is, no! And now he's being chased down by by all sorts of Shadow Clan bullies. He's just bullied by Shadow Clan. I think every time they see him, they like to try to bully him because he's just so easy, uh, so easy to chase and so easy to try to pin down well he got he got a whole mouse but he's supposed to bring back a rabbit today but yes and i am so so happy to be able to share no cloud pelt no don't do it cloud pelt don't do it it's too dangerous cloud pelt what are you doing no okay i'm gonna get dust cart cloud pelt get out of the road cloud pelt get out of the road Oh my gosh, 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 Cloud Pelt. How could you? Thimbleweed's going to, with a teensy mouse in his mouth, come over here and try to defend Cloud Pelt. Cloud Pelt, what were you thinking? I think Thimbleweed is like having a minor heart attack while Cloud Pelt is just like strutting around. No, Cloud Pelt, you're not Courage Fur. You look just like, get out of the middle of the road. Get out of the middle of the road. Cloud Pelt, what are you doing? Something tells me Cloud Pelt is like the sibling of Courage Fur and feels like they have something to prove. And poor Thimbleweed almost got pulled into the extreme nerve-wrecking mess. I don't think he wants to go back across until until he has his dash ability back. And now Cloud Pelt's off to like go investigate Mother Mouth and just leaves Thimbleweed alone on the wrong side of the, the thunder path and, and somewhat beat up. And I just, I cannot believe how rude that was. That was just amazingly rude and concerning. All right, can you dash yet? Okay, I think he's going to be too nervous to cross to the other side until he can dash. Even when there's a big battle going on on the other side and he's injured and what are we going to do? But he doesn't have the dash ability back yet. So I feel like I feel like he would feel just caught on the other side. He's too scared to go back over until the dash ability works out. Don't you dare! Don't you dare, you you bad Thunder Clan cat or you bad uh, Shadow Clan cats! You can tell which clan I'm used to thinking is the the naughty clan lately. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh my gosh! Thimbleweed, why? Thimbleweed! Thimbleweed! Thimbleweed, why? Okay, I wasn't supposed to run away from that, but he did, and I'm gonna say he's lost in Shadow Clan territory for the day now. We're just gonna have to roll with the story as it continues to get more and more dramatic. No! <gasps> He was caught stealing prey! Oh my gosh, why is this the most unlucky cat ever? Oh my goodness, and I think he'd be too scared to cross Thunderpath until his sprint ability returns to him. And I think that's just kind of what we're gonna have to say is happening with this poor thing. I can't believe, and he's not even able to, all the prey he's trying to catch every time he dives for trying to catch a frog, it just skitters right out from between his paws. Thimbleweed, there you go, you got a whole frog now. Oh my goodness, and he has to drink this nasty swamp water. I think that's fitting. I think Thimbleweed's scared of Thunderpath, and he won't go back across it until he has his dash ability returned to him. So we're just going to have to wander, wander, and wait, and he's just a lost little kitten. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He is so unlucky. 
<laughs> I just can't believe how unlucky he is. And now he's found a, a whole herb. So I think he'd drop and bury this mouse of all things. Because at least he can play with this horsetail plant and it'll make him feel a little bit better. Ooh, so many birds. If we can bring back a bunch of birds, we might be able to be forgiven for the fact that we got lost. And the fact that we didn't bring back a rabbit like we were supposed to. But he's not doing a very good job of hunting. <laughs> the bird just like there. We caught the bird. Okay, um... Maybe if I drop the frog and bury it. Poor Thimbleweed. I feel so bad for him. He just has such a hard time. Maybe if we can catch multiple birds, we can make up for the fact that he is not where he should be. Oh, there was a whole bird behind him and he just he just missed it. Ugh. He's not very impressive to the birds, I think. They're just ignoring him. They're just flying around him. There's another bird. Dang it. All right, I should get closer. I'm not getting close enough to the birds. Run for it, Dusk Moss and Duskfoot. Oh, geez. Oh, good. He's got the ability to go back across now, you guys. Okay, okay, he can dash. There we go. But I think that'll be a Thimbleweed thing. The only time we can cross Thunder Path is when we have dash. So if there's a cat in trouble on the other side, almost back to our territory, thank goodness. But if there's a cat in trouble on the other side, we wouldn't be able to help them because we would be too distracted with worrying about dashing. And then he didn't even get the bunny he was supposed to get. <laughs> Poor Thimbleweed. He's probably going to be sent back out on bunny, bunny collecting duty again. And he's so hungry. And he just got chased and bullied so much by Shadow Clan. Ah, oh, I just love seeing how the stories develop. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much. I was experimenting for a few days and I still kind of am with uh, the, doo -doo -doo, there we go, the Ultimate Cat Simulator. And I've really enjoyed what I have discovered of the game so far, but there's just not as much heart and story for me in that game as there is here with our wonderful Untold Tales game and the, the clans we've built and the stories we've developed. So I am going to be trying to to, we're gonna do like every other day for a while and we'll do bonus episodes like today of untold tales as I can but we are working on wind clan right now with our adorable little thimbleweed and his story is going to go on for as long as feels appropriate probably about 20 episodes if he lives that long <laughs> and then we will rotate to the next clan which will either be shadow clan or a kitty pet clan that I have in mind let's go ahead and and let him eat even though leap fur will really be like but where is the um where's the rabbit you were supposed to bring so he'll come back I think he'll leave behind like these these horsetail plants for Lightheart who is one of his only true friends in the clan it seems because she's so patient with him as the medicine cat We'll come and talk to Lightheart and get healed up a little bit. Uh, maybe maybe all the way because he's a little bit of a wimp when it comes to being hurt. Just a teensy bit. And then we'll stay over here. We'll drink. We'll kind of refresh ourselves. Just spend some time here with Lightheart and take a deep breath and then head back out because Proud Star really is expecting that we will get our rump out there and we will go catch us a rabbit to share with the clan. So we need to go and do that. Trainer Scarney. Yes, we have so many abilities. So we're going to go ahead and increase his his ability to find prey because I think that he's really trying to learn how to be a better cat for the clan and trying to learn how to catch more prey and there's a bunny you have to get a little closer ah got too close okay and then I think you have to be you're already oh there's another button dang it too close <laughs> I will I will learn how to bunny hunt with thimbleweed we will get there and yes yes he got the bunny he was supposed to get for the day i think he's gonna do a proud little little walk now and i think he's gonna want to go explore by the edge of the forest and maybe find some more plants to bring back uh bring back to lightheart who he really does cherish as one of the nicest cats in the clan to him because even his own mother is kind of impatient with him because she's in charge of the prey pile and thimbleweed is very rarely bringing enough things in for the prey pile in her opinion a whole nother rabbit yay thimbleweed and now you can go and collect plants i think he'll be oh and there's a feather i think he'll be so relieved he'll be he'll think like okay i caught a rabbit and now i caught two rabbits and instead of being like sun cats and thinking oh that means i should catch more for the clan or maybe oh i should share with a, a lady cat that i have my eyes on that's not how thimbleweed thinks he's going to be thinking yay now i can go look for plants so we're gonna keep an eye on him and see how his story goes 
But I just wanted to say thank you, you guys, because I love Untold Tales. I love the constant flow and ebb of stories that we have with Untold Tales. And I really am just going to keep it going for as long as you guys will enjoy the adventures with me. There's so much natural adventure that just builds from these episodes, and I cannot believe it. There's so, so much adventure. Here, I'm going to, let's see, we'll plant this fever for you over here so we can grab, grab that squirrel. But I am just constantly amazed at how emotional and how in-depth the stories can get just running around with our little pixelated cats. It's the best thing. And I love seeing the role plays you guys do. I love seeing when you guys pretend to be Star Clan and comment on like what the cat did during the episode. I love all of that so much. I really, really do. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. And thank you so much for your love of Untold Tales and sharing it with me. And there will be episodes of Untold Tales, if not daily, I'll bring them as often as I can, double daily if I'm really on a roll. Um, but there will be episodes of Untold Tales for as long as you guys love to see the stories. And it, there's just so much dynamic ability in these stories, too. It always amazes me. Like the fact that we've learned that Thimbleweed got lost overnight in Shadow Clan territory. And that's because he has a terrible fear of Thunderpath. And he can only run across Thunderpath when he's dashing. And you can only dash every now and then. So let's see. Did I get the mouse? I got the mouse. He's actually really hunting a lot of things today. He truly is. And we did leave behind the fever few he found, but maybe we'll start planting fever few back there. We'll have to figure out where will Thimbleweed... I kind of feel like Thimbleweed needs to have his own little spot that he can start leaving tons and tons of feathers. And that can... feathers and, and like different plants. Maybe over here? Hmm. So feathers and different plants. And maybe we could make that like his his shrine his legacy oh no you don't i think thimbleweed is mostly just going to shake his head at the chaos of these shadow clan cats hmm i wonder if they're trying to take over the entrance to mother mouth that's a little bit dangerous if they're trying to like take over mother mouth that could be very concerning all right, well, Thimbleweed has managed to collect quite a wonderful collection of feathers and a couple squirrels and a rabbit or two. So we can take this back to the clan for sure. All right, now maybe he'll impress his mother. But I just, I just love all these stories. So just thank you guys for all of the stories and all of the support. It's been so much fun to build up this and it will keep going for as long as you guys will give it your, your support and suggestions on how we can make it even better. So like I said, and we'll, we'll let the feathers kind of like swirl around in a storm because he just keeps adding feathers in and all the other cats complain about like all the feathers that are constantly showing up. But he delivered those rabbits like he was supposed to. So that's a good thing. And we'll let him eat. We don't have enough just yet to be able to give him any reputation like any extra reputation points oh another feather but we could come on down yep 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 so many feathers i'm pretty sure the other cats are going to start going bonkers about all these feathers maybe we'll actually i kind of feel like thimbleweed would have a really fun little spot right over here with feathers and plants like an overlook that would be good thimbleweed's overlook where he could just have like little rocks that he brings i think that'll be it little rocks and feathers and bits of plants and maybe some moss to try to keep his plants watered that sounds like a beautiful thing that he would definitely work on so let's go ahead and gather up a little bit of moss just to get started and we'll bring this even though it's right off a dead tree eh. can i get any more off of it come on come on yes all right we'll get a bit of a drink and we'll spread the dead moss around a little bit, or the moss around the dead tree a little bit. There we go. And there we go. And we'll make Thimbleweed's Overlook. We'll add in some different plants. We'll add in some different rocks and try to build the area up a little bit. I think that'll be wonderful. But Thimbleweed is headed back up to where he left all of that prey. And we'll go gather it for the night so that he can turn it in and maybe even get, oh, there's a plant, and maybe even get a bonus coin for his efforts. So let's see, is this a mouse? No, is this a bird? Yes. All right, so hopefully he'll be able to impress his mother with all of the things that he went out and caught. Pretty sure almost all of these are mice and birds. So we'll haul those back to Wind Clan's camp. And I may, oh, and there's another feather. If only we could carry that too. <laughs> Oh, there's so many things. So many things. He actually did a really good job hunting. Was that a bird? Yes. And then I think this was a squirrel. So we'll have to come back. Nope, it was a mouse. Oh my gosh, he got so many things, you guys. Yes, and another fever few plant. Wonderful, wonderful. 
So we'll go ahead and let him come back into camp this direction this time. Whoops. Okay, he can't tumble down that direction as much as he wishes he could, but we can leave the feverfew plants lined up along the edge here. I just love seeing how he's affecting the world. I love the way you can leave a legacy of things from one cat to the next on the same save file, so you can really see what they left behind in the world. It's just so cool to me. All right, and we will add in those mice, and I think Thimbleweed is very, very proud of the work he has done today. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep. He's feeling really good about everything he's done. So for once, he finally had a good day. But I think that Leapfur and Frog Whisper and Darky especially uh, are being very stern about the fact he's making such a huge mess in camp with all of his feathers. So he may not be able to bring that many more feathers purposely back into camp. So we'll start working on his overlook to have his own little legacy spot soon. So let's see, and then what does Spot Ridge need? Comfrey, that's right. So Lightheart probably is gonna ask him to get some comfrey next time. I'll have to roll the dice. And today he rolled getting prey of a significant size as a task that he was assigned by Proudstar. But since he has done that successfully, we can bring him over and get a bonus coin from Windy Tail. Ta-da! All right, so Thimbleweed actually had a good day for once, unless like you count in the whole fact that he got lost on Shadow Clan like territory overnight and was really lost and every time he tried to catch a frog it just slipped between his paws and he got muddy and he didn't like drinking the swamp water but other than that it was a good day and i am just so happy to be back in untold tales i really i don't see myself stopping for a long time as long as you guys are enjoying the story and i hope to keep them simple and sweet and just watch as they naturally evolve so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye